One of our favorite seafood restaurants in Utah County is called Kicking Seafood, which is a Louisiana-style seafood restaurant. Nearly right across the street, like very close to it, a brand new Cajun-style seafood restaurant just opened up, and it's called Pier 8. It's near Provo, right there on the border of Provo and Orem, and right next to, I would say, across the street from like where Trader Joe's is. I have tried a lot of Cajun food and many varieties of seafood. I lived in Florida for over 27 years and traveled all through the South, went to New Orleans, Louisiana, Alabama, all the Southern states, as well as also loving the Western, the Pacific Coast Western seafoods. So we've traveled to Oregon, Washington, California, lived in all those places. And especially in San Francisco, my favorite, of course, is the Dungeness Crab. So I have a pretty discerning palate when it comes to seafood that is Cajun style or San Francisco style. This is a brand new Cajun style seafood restaurant, and they use a very good Cajun house spice, or you can choose lemon pepper or plain. So what everyone does when you go to these seafood places is you want to get the boil in the bags. So what they do is they put everything in a bag, they boil it, and then you open up that bag, makes a big mess, which is really fun especially when you have a lot of kids. <laughs> so it's a really fun experience. But a lot of people don't like the really spicy Cajun house spice. So you can also make it hotter. You can tell them to make it hotter or milder. But some people will choose the lemon pepper or the plain. We chose the Cajun spice option when we go there. And it was authentically Cajun. Very good. Passed that test. So everybody ordered like the crab and the crawfish and everything, the boil in the bags. But I love a etouffee. So this is a very special dish that you get when you're in Louisiana, and it's made out of shrimp and sausage and rice, and it's really delicious. It's called etouffee, and it's a French word. I was not disappointed at all. It was served over a bed of white rice. It was very filling. It, I think it was worth the price. My son ordered, one of my sons ordered crawfish and mussels, and he chose the build your own bag, with, and he doubled the mussels and the crawfish. So you can do any kind of combination as well. And then they put the red potatoes in there as well, and those are so good. I had two of my grandsons that went with me and one of them ordered the fried shrimp and french fries and he ate every single thing on his plate. And my other grandson at the time was only like 10 years old, ordered the crab legs and he just devoured that crab. It was so good. And it comes with corn on the cob in there as well. And then for dessert, you cannot pass up the New Orleans style beignets. They are so good. When you order them, make sure that you order them before you finish your meal because they are made fresh to order because they're not very good after they've been sitting out for a while. So you want them fresh to order. And so make sure you give them plenty of time to get that out for you. So you're not like waiting 30 minutes after you've eaten. There's a really lot of fun history behind beignets and why they're so popular in New Orleans and all around there. Go to my website. It's called movetoprovoutah.com. It's a community website that is all about the places we go to eat. We write reviews, the restaurant reviews. We include everything we can, like their menus and their hours and everything. So you're not like searching all over the internet trying to find the information. Make sure that you check our website. And then we also have a page with all our events that are going on in Provo and Orem, which you don't want to miss that, as well as places to go, things to do, things to see. It's a really great website if you're moving to Provo or if you live in Provo to get all of your information about what's going on. We also are just starting our news feed. We're going to put in the news that is important to us. I'm not going to be doing like police blotters or anything like that, but we do want to give you like current events, like when the Provo airport was just announced to become an international airport. So that would be like the kind of news that I put on the website. And if you are looking, my son, Tristan and I are real estate agents here in Utah. We are with EXP Realty and we also have a website where you can search homes. So you can go to tristansellsutah.com if you want to look for a house really quickly, or you can just Google our names and go to all of our websites. We have several websites about different areas in Utah. I look forward to seeing you again, and maybe I'll run into you at one of these restaurants. Make sure you come up to me and say hi. It was great to do these videos for you. I hope you're enjoying them. Please leave a comment for me and like the video. Thank you so much.